three vengeance and the uh, first game of tonight's stream. I meant to play this earlier today and like do some VR missions as well as just like, you know, rerun a couple uh, of the mission stuff that we did last time and kind of catch the catch the left arms from the people and stealth the sections that I really wanted to try to stealth but without like, you know, taking up too much time or any of any viewer time, just taking up my time because I really enjoy trying to stealth that stuff but I don't want to spend like a half hour on it in the middle of a stream, you know? So. But anyway. Uh, Jack's back. He's edgier than ever. And we were just invited by Sam to the server room. Electrolyte pack. Is this like an actual person? I'm sorry, sir. Our business hours for the day have ended. Oh, we are looking forward to your next visit. Should I should I cut her head off? That's a normal thing to do, right? Oh, it's a robot. That's not even a problem, though. <laughs> oh, it's eyeballs are freaky. Keep on coming. Also, I was reading online. Oh, Ripper rip Mode. What does this do? Uh, it makes us, oh jeez, really, really angry. Okay. Oh, that's right, and I have uh, the Psy now. So we're going to need to do a couple of combos with that. So you, it looks like you can only do Ripper mode when you have full health. And then you can disable it with the same clicks. So that's good. Alright, I'm liking these um, sides. It seems like they have a bit of a stun effect on them, which is pretty handy. contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. But the server's in the basement. Let's talk to Dog. We do not yet know the location of the server room. Oh, we don't? Oh, I thought he said it was the at the bottom. Correct. Yeah, I'm headed up there now. It appears the elevators have been disabled. Then I'll use the stairs. The stairwell has been sealed off. Cut it open. I will search for another route. Thanks. What a good dog. All right, ready for techno babble? How's it going with the brain units, Doc? Any problems? Oh, they could not be better. They're being kept at exactly 36 degrees Celsius with a steady, uninterrupted supply of oxygen and glucose. Synchronizing them with our equipment posed some difficulty, but everything's perfectly stable now. That's good to hear. What kind of VR are they getting? I prepared very comfortable rooms for each and every one. It's not quite Schloss Neuschwanstein, but each one enjoys the equivalent of a four-star hotel suite. Every room includes an attached pool and an extensive library of on-demand video programming. Three meals are delivered daily, and while we're only able to do so much vis-a-vis -vis taste sensation, it should satisfy the psychological need for food, at least. Doesn't sound too bad. I wouldn't mind a little VR <laughs> training like that for a change. Oh, be my guest. I'd like to experience it for myself, you know. But for now, it is available to cyborgs only. Exciting work is being done in the realm of invasive brain-machine interfaces. But there simply isn't much demand for it at the moment. You don't say. I guess not too many folks are willing to stick electrodes in their brains just for a taste of VR. 
Well, Perhaps, Elon Musk the sense of reality is considerably in recent news seems to be pretty keen on that, actually. Enough, I imagine the video game industry at least would clamor for it. Who coded the virtual hotel? An assistant. He used to write VR programs for UGs, but now specializes in cyborg software. A bit of a niche right now, yes, but when brain-machine interfaces take off, it will be a big business. The children's accommodation is a reworked version of the original beta software he built. The room's 3D models are all made using free libraries. It couldn't have been easier. <laughs> I wish everyone loved their work as much as you do, Doc. They don't go stir-crazy, though, cooped up in their rooms? There's little I can do about that. Creating an open world would take orders of magnitude more resources. What about communication? Another weak spot, yes. The NPCs available to us are all for military training purposes. It will be some time until we see VR characters capable of convincingly human interaction. Sadly, we're also not yet able to connect multiple brains to a single VR space. My assistants are operating virtual agents to give them a bare minimum of mental care. But our team is limited in size, and none of us are medical professionals, you know. They can't stay in there forever. <sighs> Elon Musk would love that, I think. I don't need to save. I do want to talk to Courtney. Courtney. Courtney! Uh, Why do yeah, I suddenly sound like Snake? You all that. Guess I was Jack the Ripper all along. All that talk about justice. And here I am. Just another killer. He's got his edge right. Listen. I want you off this mission. You don't have to go through this. Kevr Doc can handle saving for me. Raiden, I, I don't want... It's my responsibility to stop them before they make another Jack. It's my duty. No one else's. That's the way it is. Live by the battlefield. Die by the battlefield. Raiden, listen. Courtney, this isn't the place for you. Keep working with me. Let her talk, and Raiden. You're gonna wind up someplace dark. Uh, I'm fine with that. What? They... They're kidnapping kids. They're ripping their bodies, tearing up their souls to make soldiers. I feel like they have to pay for this. If I just quit here, how would I live with myself? Courtney. I mean, maybe I could have to come back to school. It's like the Batman MBA, voice. Making six figures. But now I know. I've seen the truth. And I can't just forget it. Maybe I can't do what you can, but come on. At least I can handle your data. I... So do you want to save or not? I mean, sure. Why not? There's no harm in doing it. It doesn't really take that long. All right, we're set. You're sure about this? Positive. Look, you know you aren't Jack the Ripper. I... I mean, Is sure, he gonna swap you don't back exactly to his, uh, every minute of your job out other there. Voice. But the Raiden I'm talking to right now, he's the same one I've always known. The one who'd put his life on the line to protect the innocent. Not just some maniac with a knife. <sighs> who knows? Maybe I'm just out for revenge against everyone who made me this way. It's more than that, Raiden. That much I know. In any case, I'm going to stop this VR training. All right. Good luck, Raiden. What do you think about what Monsoon said earlier about memes? <laughs> you think we're all doomed to follow some coded routine? That it's just no such a loaded will. word. Well, you're always going to have restraints based on what culture you're born into. The concept of memes was first proposed by Richard Dawkins in a book called The Selfish Gene. The Dawkins, mimetics. a biologist, stated that even if the actions of a living thing appear to be altruistic, each of its genes is still engaging in selfish behavior, purely as a matter of survival. Yeah, I heard about that. He went on to define memes as a different kind of self-replicating unit. They're the genes of a culture, from fashion to chord progressions in music even political expression. And, just like normal genes, they replicate. They grow, infecting more and more people. You buy a shirt you like, and put it on. Other people see you wearing it, then buy it for themselves. Yeah. The genes of a culture makes it all sound pretty lofty. But the way Dawkins puts it, memes can also transmit worthless things, even the bad parts of a culture. Fashion's one thing. But value-related memes can put huge restraints on people's lives. For example, the idea that having lots of money is the ultimate goal, the thing we should all strive for. <laughs> like in the U.S. Any capitalist uh, country, really. 
Is Kojima anyway, making a statement? You catch this money worship meme? Then not only are you trying to get rich, you're also spreading that idea to other people. How about the meme of to. Phoenix the sexful uh, Twitch streamer? The cultural norm, it's a pretty big meme right now. So you start spreading the word about how important it is to Actually, succeed. Actually, I saw a thing. Of, it was a survey that they did right. the on really uh, in the U.S., the U.K., worse. and China. For example, and revenge. top job a guy sees his country for uh, by terrorism. or top wanted so job and for people it's an infinite in loop. the U.K. and the U.S. The same thing with is vlogger soldiers. slash YouTuber. Kids parents are killed by other and kids. in China, so it's astronaut. The war next and start killing other people's parents. Mm. Let's let There's that sink in. There's got to be a way to break the cycle, though. Dawkins wrote about that too. How we can rebel against our genes and memes. Once you're aware that's of your own one. memes, you can train yourself to identify and replicate the oh, good yes. ones and kill the bad ones. Right. Well, that starts with me stopping this VR shit. The Sears program's one hell of a bad meme machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously. Happy, Boris. Uh, They're all dead. No mercy. Just like you wanted. Is, is that really what Boris right. wanted? So much for all that shit I said I believed in. I read that only one in 50 soldiers can kill with zero hesitation. Guess I'm a two percenter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know what they went through, yeah. But I sure as hell didn't let it stop me. No. I guess not. Regular guys. They couldn't handle it. All the blood and body parts. The fear and dying eyes. Me though, I like it. A lot. No hesitation. No regrets. Maybe it's in my blood. Maybe it's the Sears program. Probably both. The younger you learn a thing, the better you retain it, you know? I remember Liberia like it was yesterday. All the abuse. The threats at gunpoint. Next thing I know, I'm getting off on cutting guys to shreds. Right. But afterwards... Afterwards, it was tough, especially once I got to the U.S. I got counseling and education, but every time I talked with someone normal, I felt like all the killing I'd done was going to crush me, and it didn't stop. Not in my dreams, anyway. I'd hear voices at night, calling out all my crimes, but I couldn't shut them out. The rest of my crew adapted to American life well enough, but I, I never could. <clears throat> And it returns only now. Raiden, I'm sorry about earlier. I was too hard on you. Nah, I'd be dead without you. I'd still be in Liberia, surrounded by crazy. I've always known you have a dark part in your mind. Perhaps I should not have hired you at all. Perhaps you should not be near Battlefield. The hell with that. If I hadn't signed up, I wouldn't be here to help put an end to this. I gotta do what I can to stop that VR training. I'm not the only one suffering. I need to do this for my old friends. The boys back in Liberia who didn't survive. I survived all the killing, thrived on it, but the experience destroyed them. Duh. Sorry, I better get moving. Boris is regretting that, uh, that hiring decision. But then again, I mean, if you're in the business of fighting a whole bunch of dudes and killing things, having a crazy psychopath is probably for the best. What? What can I... Oh. I thought there was a glass wall. <laughs> right. Wow. They are... Like, there is something. Cause I'm... They're loading me up for a lot of heavy duty stuff right now. Oh boy, they're gonna throw something at me. So wait, does that extend? Oh, it does. Holy shit. That has a... It's like a hook shot. You know, with all the rocket launchers stuff that I picked up, it would have been a good idea to be using the Inferno armor, or Inferno armor. I can't... hold on. I'm just curious about something. Can I get on top of that? No. Not with a regular ninja run. What if I jump? Let me 
can. Is that? It looks like there's something over there. But I don't know how I would actually get up there. Huh. I guess I won't worry about it. It looks like there's something there though, over on that pillar. Or it did. All right, whatever. The elevators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. Duh. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea. By all means, yes. Hmm? It seems the guards are storming the building. Titan, get back to the entrance. Buy me some time to get this elevator operational. Do not stray too far from the elevators, Raiden. Use the weapons around you to slow them down. Throw everything at them you can. Okay. Wait a minute, there's turrets here. I got his arm. Alright, how do I... Oh jeez, controls. Alright, I like this. This is a good weapon. I'll go to the elevator as soon as I kill everyone. Oh no, monkey people. Oh boy, can I... Yep. Yeah, that's... that's bad. Oh jeez. I can't... where is he? Where's the monkey? Ow. I know that they want me to go in the elevator, but I really want to fight everything. Oh, I can't get over there. What just hit me? Oh, I can't. I'm stuck. Oh, hi. Oh, now would be a very good time to get up. to have another arm. Oh yeah, I like these Psy a lot. Alright. There we go. So can I actually take this thing out with this gun? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Got a terrible grade though. Right? Oh, how? How? I took so much damage. How did I... 
I no longer understand combat ranks. Not that I really ever did. Purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area Those consists are of floor offices stock. and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. Cool. Sounds good. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. Sounds good. Oh, I see someone's hand. Oh, there'll be cameras. Okay. All right. I almost want to try to stealth this a bit, but me. Why do I? Why do I have to blade mode to open these ones up? Good music, though. Alrighty. So he looks like he's gonna make a lot of ruckus and trouble for me. But I want that arm. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Probably it right there. Good. One down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. There should be an electrical panel nearby. They found you. No choice now. Oh, was I supposed to be stealthing this? Get up, get up, get up. Jeez. Did he just fire a rocket at point blank? You are a madman. No one does that. Oh, jeez. Uh, no. Hi, dog. Jeez. Hey, I really hate this thing. Missed it. 
Never wants to run again. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's just a, it's just a baby. Anyway, there's another panel. Right in, can you? Just one more. Okay, probably over near the. They keep on coming. Yeah, yeah, they do. I don't think that hit. Achievement unlocked extinction level event. Uh, have I made a lot of kills by chance? Oh, that's crazy. Electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. I'm trying. <laughs> See what kind of um, what kind of things do we have with the? Actor throw dash Y. That's that's it. Okay. I just I really wanted that. I want it because it's underneath the thing. I don't think I can get it. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, hi. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Panel somewhere. Oh. Yes, that should take care of security. Now, head back to the gate. This is an interesting interesting map. Did I explore all of it? I'm thinking. We came in from from there, right? And I think, yeah, we messed up this room. And that was that one. Okay, yeah, sure. Just wanted to double check that, you know, I did everything I could. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, box. And another thing. Pays off to look around. Alright, now how can I deal with ugly hammer boy? I have an idea. I got him. Shit. He's got one leg. 
Good balance. Can I get some, uh, some martial coke? Please? <laughs> oh, okay. That's not the shape that was in. Perfect. Yes. This is the way vending machines were supposed to be opened. Now see what I was Guidance. Oh. Shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No. Keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you... Well, your past is most... Uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. They're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but... Uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but... Uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. I, I want to know what he was going to say. Doctor. So, Doc, what are we going to do with those Wait, brains? Wait, we already went over this, Well, right? I appreciate the bounty, if not for the cost. <laughs> Don't think I can cover that. Okay, I'm unemployed no, we haven't. Now, Sorry. remember? Besides, it wouldn't be healthy for the kids. It's certainly more healthy than a hard scrabble life in a disease-ridden alley. Well, if you put it like that, yeah. But they can't even engage in real human interaction. They're facing an entire life spent in a virtual room. It's not right. Well, we could expand their VR quarters and add more human communication. Would that work? You're missing the point, Doc. Ah, I spoke in jest. In fact, we already begun researching a prototype child body. But you must realize our lab cannot provide these bodies free of charge. Yeah. And once in physical bodies, the question then becomes how they will live after that. All right, let's pick this up later. I gotta worry about the brains at World Marshal for now. Yes. Worry about getting that data first. Oh, that he refers to it as data. That's good. So, how much do you know about how Desperados operated? I was at the lowest possible tier of information disclosure, beneath standard contractors. As it was explained to me, contractors need at least some information divulged to them. I did not. As a machine, I had no contract and no rights. I was kept in the dark. My knowledge is no deeper than what is already generally known throughout the industry. Couldn't you hack into their network or something? You're an AI. Perhaps, if I had free access to a computer. Also, hands. Those are necessary to operate a keyboard. Yeah, but you have like a yeah, USB tail. But you are a computer. Yeah. Okay. It is not so simple. There are protocol issues. Neural AIs are far closer in structure to the human brain than standard von Neumann architecture computers. Well, I would have tried anyway. Did you have contact with anyone besides Miss Trial? I engaged in tandem field operations with Sam on several yeah, occasions. I mentioned that like three times. However, he was even more difficult for me to comprehend than Miss Trial. I bet. Yeah. Beep boop. Just like that. Ah. They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy. Well, that music got real loud. You do not have to fight every enemy you encounter, right? Oh, keep oh, but I do. Uh, fine, fine. Ooh, that did more damage than usual. Drop your BP? Yeah, 
he's not hurt. Why you gotta be like this? Nice of them to blow open the door for me, yeah? <laughs> Idiots. Ah, uh, I already closed. The red, yeah, it's just one of them. Oh, you can't actually aim at them? Oh, that's garbage. Why do they even give you these, then? Uh, yeah, nope. The objective said clear with ninja run. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize they had him. Uh, attack. Ooh, the Psy are good for this guy. I like it. What? Raiden? What's wrong? Okay. I can't. I can't see it. I <laughs> can't see anything. Am I hitting it? I think that's a yes. What is... <laughs> All I see is feathered hair. Surprisingly, no mech there, though. Oh, hi. Destroy the grad. Yeah, okay. Working on it. Oh, boy. Locking on. My remote. <laughs> oh, I love this game. All these sliders in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Oh, gee. Wow. Okay. I kind of wanted to check out that room first. I thought there was an item there. Why am I killing this? Oh, okay, that's why. Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Yeah, will it? He didn't move. He didn't seem too keen on actually uh, going Keep left or right there. Like it will be much easier for you. He doesn't turn too quickly with this. Oh! Surprised he didn't have to blade uh, through one of these things. Yeah, that sucked, combat rating wise. Right away is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It mm. is an area set aside for VIPs. 
Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. Is he Nintaku? All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Hmm. Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear, right? <laughs> now, head for the garden. Uh, these characters are fun. I wonder... Okay, hold on. I want to I wanna do codec calls to people once I'm in the garden. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. And the music change. Alright, hold on. I gotta know. Does anyone talk about... Uh, right. I have reached the 20th floor. How should I proceed? I thought you specialized in scouting, Wolf. My apologies. I performed much better in the city. It's fine. Check in with Doc. I bet he can help you out. Doctor? Right. Are you fully versed in the features of your AR display? Uh, I think it so. It serve many functions, you know. <sighs> Do I hear un lecture coming on? <laughs> A lecture? No, no, of course not. I'm hardly an expert. Of course, talk, I know then. the first practical application of the technology was for aircraft huts, then head-mounted displays, HMDs. The data could be seen even as the viewer moved their head. As the technology improved, it was integrated into retinal imaging, contact lenses. Soon it became standard issue not just for pilots, but infantry soldiers as well. Of course, with cyborgs such as yourself, the data can be fed directly to the optic nerve. <laughs> no lecture, huh? Anyway, there's more to my augmented reality than just upgraded HMD tech. Of course there is, dumb cop. You did not let me finish. <laughs> oh, you weren't finished? AR is a much broader concept. It is more a design concept than a particular imaging methodology. It encompasses HUDs, HMDs, any and all manner of visual real-time data overlay. Though recently, some reserve the AR label for virtual objects the subject can both see and touch. For example, your codec menu and zoom slider. Such objects do not exist anywhere in the real world, not even as images. They are fed directly to your optic nerve, so only you can see them. Yet, when you interact with them, sensory feedback is delivered to the nerves in your fingers. It gives you the sense of touching a thing that does not exist. <laughs> Beats lugging around a sat radio and giant scope, that's for sure. I remember a few years ago reading research papers when I, where they had, um, I, don't, I don't want to call it an experiment, but they had a thing where they projected a hologram uh, that floated in the air, and then they had little uh, like pistons almost, or something like that, like near it. And so when you went out to touch it, it like puff out a little puff of air. So it would feel like you actually touched something. It was kind of neat. Okay, next time then. <sighs> if you ask me. There we go. No Someone finally talking about it. complete without cherry blossoms. I hear a lot of towns in Japan are full of cherry blossoms in the springtime. They have picnics under them. Drink sake and stuff. Sounds like a lot of fun, right? Food culture is about a lot more than just what you eat, you know. Hey, it's about being the horrible Yelp reviewer. For cherry blossom season. You know, once you're done there. Sounds good to me. Once I'm done. There we go. Do you think uh, he's probably just gonna be edgy Jack the Ripper when he talks about Kevin? You know, I visited oh, no. like that once. Nope. In Japan. More Kevin the pickup Kaiwa stories. Went, in a city called Mito. Really nice. Taxi ride there was murder though. I figured the cabbie wouldn't be able to speak English, so I gave him a map. But he still got totally lost. I think he probably got confused because the map was in English. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that'd be a problem since it's not like the place names are any different. But apparently, the guy couldn't even read the English alphabet. <laughs> okay, Kevin. Kevin, okay. I think you're the asshole in that situation. A Japanese garden? Ugh. It is so flashy and <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Not a fan, Boris? Well, to each his own, I guess. Good. Right into this walking on, like, with his nasally voice. My Japanese enemies! Ooh. Oh, hi. How did I miss so much? Alright, let's do... let's do Ripper mode. 
I don't... I think it just... I assume... Wow, why am I... Okay, thank you. What hit me? Okay. Ow. Oh, there's an asshole with a rocket launcher. That's what hit me. You. Yeah. You. <laughs> uh, good. So, I like this place. I like this environment a good deal. Uh, for Christmas, I went to Japan to visit my sister and spent three weeks there, and it was beautiful. Uh, I was in Okayama, which is like three-hour, three-hour bullet train ride from. Tokyo. So nowhere near the usual sights that people would see. Can I, can I just have your arm? Please? Oh good, he, he came after me. That's all I want. I want your arm. Can I? Oh, gosh. How? Why can't I cut your arm off? There we go. That's all I wanted. Ow. Okay, fine. I was gonna leave you alone. Now you get turned into chicken nuggets. But yeah, Okuyama Castle, as well as um, the ruins of another castle that was in. Oh, what was the port? I'm blanking on the port name. There were a couple castles, and they had gardens, and they were really nice. Since I went during winter, there weren't any cherry blossoms, though. But, still, it was really nice. Okay, it looks like there's another, another arm over there for me to get, so that'll be good to get. Thank you! And he has a rock launcher. Ruins my fun plan. They keep giving me rocket launchers. I kind of just wish that riding could actually open doors, though, you know? Oh. Wait, what? This is the other area. I assume that I can't get up it this way, no, okay. The main exit is Ooh, sealed. I, I, I see very monkeys. much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you is connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. I wish I could use this parasol as a, uh, like, similar to the box, you know? Okay, the monkeys are annoying. So if I can, I want to stealth them. Because they are a massive pain to fight. And the camera isn't... Okay. So how do I... How can I sneak over to you? Probably the catwalk, I guess. 
if I can get behind him. That said, I want that man's arm. Hello, good sir. Great, now how do I get back up? Oh shit. Uh, uh, nope, not that. Also, I should probably put that back to that. Nope, nope, get the box up, get the box up. Nothing to see here. Just uh, medical supplies sitting in a Japanese garden. Not, nothing unusual. How much? Hmm. Hmm. I almost feel like running along the bottom level might also work for avoiding that guy's gaze. Okay. The question is, when he turns around, Is the monkey gonna see me? Or if I hold down the button, will I go down fast enough to not be seen? Oh yeah. Woohoo! This game is definitely more of an action game than it is stealth though. to make sure I move when he's not looking this way. Uh, Bryden, don't get stuck, please. Stop that. All right, follow the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. Ooh, health. How am I missing? Okay. Hey. Alright, so now there's no enemies. I can freely explore. You can move your body freely. Let's see. Just go in there. Just a grenade sitting on a bench. Normal. Definitely normal. Ooh, another one. Thank you. Oh, cool. Data storage. And... Alright. I feel like there's gotta be... Well, I mean, I guess there doesn't have to be. But I would expect there... To be, um... One of those... What's my call it? It's like the little computers. something else over this way, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So that seems good and fine. It's weird that there are no computers, though. Not that they show up in the AR mode, which is weird. You would think they would. Dog. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. 
What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. <laughs> you speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Alright, before I do though. Let's save. Ever eaten Cambodian, Courtney? Wh what? That that's is random. That's a little random. Apparently that's where Monsoon's from, originally. Just trying to cover all the bases. Not sure how this could be important, but... Well, the two Cambodian dishes I know best are amok and something called Pong Ti Khan. Amok is fish covered in coconut milk and other flavorings and wrapped in banana leaves. I had it once. It's really exotic, both in looks and taste. Definitely recommend it. If you like fish. And the other? Pong Ti Khan? It's also known as Balut in some countries. It's pretty popular in Vietnam and the Philippines, too. I... Well, you know how I try to keep an open mind about other countries' cuisine. Sure. But Balut is definitely a love-hate thing. So, what is it? Well, it's basically a boiled duck's egg. Okay. But the embryo's fertilized, so oh. there's this duck-like thing inside. I've tried a lot of odd foods in my time, but hmm. that's where I drew the line. Don't be so picky, Courtney. Maybe it tastes better than it looks. Okay. How about you try it first, then? Sure. Once I'm done here, we'll all have to go out for it together. Deal. You better make it back and keep that promise, Raiden. I'll watch you eat it, at least. <laughs> Wimp. I am looking forward to ending this, though. Wouldn't mind getting my old jaw back. Would be a little hard to eat normal food without it, you know. <laughs> you could always use a straw. Why does he get a completely different jaw? Like, what is... What's the purpose? Does he not have a windpipe when he's like this or something? Balut sounds interesting, though. I'm curious if, like, the uh, duckling, for less of a better term, would uh, be partially developed at all, bone-wise? Like, would it be crunchy, or would it just be squishy? Oh, you look heavily armored. Okay, I'm worried about that guy seeing me. But I guess I don't need to be that worried. very much. Alright. So this will be a little bit trickier if I want to stay silent. And I don't really know if I'm supposed to be doing this stealthy or not. I'll do it as stealthy as I can, I guess. But he'll never see it coming. Jack's back. <laughs> oh, he's got an arm. Yes, thank you. There we go. 
I wonder if I die if I fall down there. I have to imagine that I do. More rocket launcher. Oh. Oh, this moves. Okay. Oh, I see. I should probably, yeah, let's go, let's go jack mode. I don't really understand it. Like, I don't know if they actually explain if I get anything more from going into this mode. Um, why are you on top of me? I thought I was blocking. Can't see shit. My only... Jeez. My only problem with this game really is the camera. Otherwise, this game is great. reading a thing about parrying. Oh, there we go. And you're supposed to press towards the enemy and hit the X button at the same time. Well, before I've just been holding the uh, stick, so I haven't been parrying properly, I think. Look up, Raiden! Yes. Another freight platform! Ooh. Remember, remember the battle in Final Fantasy VII in the Shinra building on the way down, I think? Where you have to fight the house thing? I'm in the corner against the big stun thing and I can't see what I'm fighting. Alright. Dog fight time. Okay, let me get somewhere where the camera doesn't freak out on me so much. Anything else? Can I can I go up the other platform? No, not yet. Two dogs. I missed the uh, parry bit. I just I just want that. Thanks. Okay, this... Are we gonna keep doing that? What are we doing? Oh, that was cool. Did I initiate that? Or... Is there a grab move that I don't know about? He is not bad. Oh, great. Far... 
Ah. This is bad. Oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Please and thanks. Okay, so can I get up there? The elevator cannot take much more of this. Come to the adjacent platform. Yeah, I want to. The platform is losing speed. Scheiße, the tripod is interfering. Titan, clear them out of the shaft. You heard the man. Do not let them block the elevator. Wait, oh, there's more. Get. Stop it. You stop. Cut. Oh, there's still another one. Ah. I feel good about that one, for the most part. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevators. You pass to the server room leads right through them. What is that? Oh. I see. Give me that armor here, please. Thanks. Ow, I'm stuck. I don't want to be stuck in the corner. Wait, what just happened? Ow! Did he just... Okay. I can't... I can't actually see. I really want to hit him with it. Oh boy, hi, monkeys. Excellent. Ouch. Ah, uh, the blouch. Okay, he's gotta die first. No, him. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I can't. Ah, no. Get up, get up. Okay, he can't grab me if he doesn't have an arm. to dodge those better. gotten the Zandu, maybe I would have gotten closer to an S-Rank. 
Okay, that was fun. Okay, so that's the server room. But I want... I want to go in there. There's an item. How do I get in there? This way? What's up with the boxes? Hmm. Alright, well that's worth it, I guess. Please and thank you. This way. No. All right. Apparently, I can't get that in them. The server Maybe is later. Ahead? Yes. According to what I have here. What should I expect to find? Brains. If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units, feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored. You know, they would also need a server to feed them the VR data. But in terms of structure. It's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank and file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? Maybe. If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Maybe he's, he's like doing, getting VR training data from this whole thing. Finally catch up with him. That would be smart, right? All right, I want to talk to people. Codec. Wow, you are Please slow, dog. On your way. Why is he taking so long? There is another school of thought on precisely what constitutes AR. Really? Seriously, more of this. <laughs> it defines AR as anything which obscures the boundary between reality and that experienced right. by the viewer. Well, how would that mind. be different from VR? Well, for example, let's say I that you and I it. are having a nice chat face to face. Suddenly, I disappear, poof, and in my place appears a ravishing, nubile young woman. Is the girl the projected image or the reality? Perhaps I was the AR. How would you know? Doctor G got might be a clue. <laughs> ah, such things can be controlled with a simple hack of your auditory nerves. <laughs> well, that's comforting. So, how is this different from VR again? Well, it is. Uh, it's. Hmm. I suppose, uh, strictly speaking, it is rather similar. Both are a method for completely fooling the senses rather than simply augmenting them. Although. Technically, it would be MR, mixed reality, since there are some real elements involved. Like Pokemon yes, Go. Yes, of course. That would be the distinction and the correct term. <laughs> In any case, the advance of MR technology leads to many interesting philosophical questions. What happens when appearances cease to have meaning? It is no longer see it to believe it, after all. It could make for a great advance in cyborg acceptance, you know. They could project a perfectly normal human body to be seen by anyone who can perceive MR. I don't know. Sounds like it might cause more problems than it had solved to me. Alright. Do I want to talk to other people right now? Not really. Uh, I'm supposed to go that way, and it looks like the map doesn't continue that way, so... I should probably heal? Wait, is that Mistral? Why? Okay, that... That's Mistral. Why is Mistral alive? We... We killed her. 
Yeah, that that looks a lot like Miss Troll. Hi. What? Miss Troll? But she's no. A spear body is okay. I mean, I don't mind fighting her again. She's a fun fight. Get, no, get off. Okay. Also, I really like her boss battle music. Okay, I'm really tired of these guys. So I'm just going to remove them from the equation. Okay, she's taking control of it. There we go. I like how you can prevent her from getting her arms back. That's nice. Although, I guess we can't really uh, prevent this. Get off. Shit, wasn't ready for that. Shit, she hit me. Do -do -do. Oh yeah, this is a much easier fight than before. I... Alright, good to know uh, recycled bosses aren't too uh, difficult to remove. I can't get up there. Cow! Fucker! Is that monsoon? Seriously? Yeah, except the monsoon is an asshole. Oh gosh, monsoon. You ninja bullshit. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Uh, the AI. Oh god, no, oh, why? I can't even lock on though. That's a really annoying thing. Yeah, I'm getting the parry out. I was getting the parry down pretty good. Okay, what up? What am I supposed to do here? Yes, yes, get that. Thank you. It barely moves the health meter, look at that. It's like going down by like point 0.1. Not this again. I hate it. I don't like this fight. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. Uh. Can I? No. Can't hit him yet. I really don't like that I, like, again, camera. Oh, now it's locked on. I don't 
don't know where his body is, but I'm gonna keep swinging until I hit him. Is, is it dead? That sucked. <laughs> I hate Monsoon. I don't deserve that A. That was awful. I mean, it's all parrying, but... Jeez. Uh, yeah. This looks about right. Seems suitably dystopian looking. Brain training, all that. How do I get up there? Don't disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world. Just got a bit too complicated. We're doing it virtually, though. No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. Do they even get like up to it's him? It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They could kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big joke every time. Plus, they get to shine a new body as a graduation present. Nope, nope, I can't get there. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that, kids, you can mold, manipulate it to perform in all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Oh, Save little Timmy. This whole place down. Bolts out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. That is a lot of brains. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9 11. Oh boy, those good old days. What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. Oh, he just, he just wants to have a cup of tea and chat, okay. Maybe a whiskey. He seems more like a whiskey guy, Brandon, honestly. Get Sundowner. Okay. Do not lose it this time. Well, he invited me in. I don't think I need to worry about it. But I am going to go get the items over here first. I think. What? No. Ah. Oh, okay. You have to be a little clever, I guess, to get that. And a little clever, not that much, not too much. Thank you. So just a way all the way around this way. They sure do make you run for your goodies. Mm. Okay. I think I had to jump from there. Alright. Hold on. Also, there's nothing underneath the stairs, is there? Like, it'd be prime, prime placement for one of those little computers. 
Damn it. Get, get up, Raiden. I can't, like, run on the brain gauges, right? That would be, like... Or cut through? No. Oh boy, how do I get you? I want to just like do this and like hop over. Yes! Do it. Come on, you can do it! Yes! There. Cool. And I think that's it. Great. Unless there's like just a computer in the middle of all these brains. I just don't want to miss any collectibles, you know? Alright, let's go join, um, what's his name? Sundowner? For, uh, for a pint. Wait a minute. Here we go. He's not wrong, though, about, uh, kids being cruel. Kids definitely do some of the weirdest and, like, harmful shit when you compare them to other people sometimes, you know? Hmm. This is, uh, dramatic looking. Hmm? What are... hold on. What is... what is this? Oh, it's another one of those tripods. Oh, I want to fight you. I want to fight you real bad. How do I get to you? There was one of those in the sewer. Uh, I can't... No. There wasn't a door I missed, right? How do I get to you? I want to fight. You can't get through here, right? Why do they put him there if I can't get to him? Or maybe can my Psy hit him with their range and I can like initiate the fight? Yes. They're really random, those tripods. Alright. What's up, buddy? He looks like Bison right now from Street Fighter. This Jack, we can play up here without damaging the merchandise. Consider it. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach two, you wouldn't make it. Or well, Mach three. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful. Do I have to fight him and helicopters at the same time? What is this? Like I said, kids are cool, Jack. And I'm very in touch with my inner child. <laughs> I'm digging the music. You can be cooler than that. I'll, I'll try. For you. Ow. Okay. Can I get into my inventory, please? I don't think you are. Well, then what do you see? Show you when to attack so it does not detonate. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe you can drop his gun. It doesn't seem too bad so far. Oh, besides that. <clears throat> wow, that does an ass ton of damage. Okay, I think I have to be a little smarter when I go into the Zondus mode. Oh, 
I really like the side. Nope. I refuse. Where, where's... There it is. Nope. Turn around. Get the missiles. Oh god, they're still active even when that happens. Okay. Shit. Didn't need to attack. Damn it. I keep doing that with the combo. I, I, I can't. Oh, come on. I just want to remove that. I feel like I could do this fight better. Oh, I can't. I can't block that, can I? He glowed. Okay, where am I cutting? Ah, oh, come on. What? But I hit Y. Isn't Y the... I thought Y was the vertical slice button. Damn it. I keep thinking it wants me to use the Zonda. Wait, what? Me too. You are a fun boss to fight. Hey, I did it that right that time. Damn it. It shows the Zonda, so I'm expecting that I can like go in and like attack his um, arms and whatnot. But it's really just a trigger to wait and then attack his shield. Alright, I'll do better this time. Wait, why is the grenade? Right, I still have grenades out. Fighting you, fair and square. Okay, I can do that. Oh fuck! I gotta be really careful about that. Oh. No, you. Oh, ow. First time I didn't explode myself. Oh shit, the stab. Fuck. Okay, it's gotta be a 
vertical slice, right? Gotcha! Oh, he's going Juggernaut. Uh, scissor time. Oh yeah, we got we got vocals now. You know it's serious in the music. It is fun. I agree. Wait, why does this voice sound familiar? Wait, what? Oh, I killed him. Okay, we didn't see him actually die though, so he's definitely not dead. Yep. The one time he doesn't go blade mode and cut those things up. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. And I mentioned how ridiculous, oh Jesus, and wonderful this game is. It's like, um, oh jeez. It reminds me of, like, escaping the Death Star when it's blowing up in, like, Rogue Squadron. Or, uh, Star Fox 64, we had to escape Venom? Like, oh jeez, where are we going? What what are we doing? What are we cutting? Because this doesn't look like we can cut it. Right in. I'm concerned. Tell me that we get to fight the helicopter like this. I really wanted to like have a ridiculous fight in the air like that. Bye bye. No more scissors for you. But keep your head intact though. Oh wait, maybe not. All right, I, I assume he's gonna call me on the codex somehow now. Because all the bosses do, despite the encryption and the fact that they're dead. Deploy. Yep. Jack. The One means. Three Jack. hours. He'll launch Operation Takumse. Who? Armstrong. I've already said too much. I have a call to make. <laughs> Got yourself shaving? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> He's good. How are you coughing? Real good. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Well, you get your wish. Up to you. Raiden here. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry. Raiden, what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. <sighs> he said even Mach 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's going to spike demand for PMCs, it's got to be a political hotspot. EU? A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The war on terror part two. Contact the military. Official generals are frozen since Mexico. 
Unofficial channels would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marsh? Then we have to get there first. Nevazmuzhna! Impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. A rocket? Tell me if I'm getting on a rocket. He would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23 if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. What is this? Contact Solus. What what is in RL? What was that? Oh, that D right in the middle there. Yeah. Gross. Ooh. Desperado version. And pincer blades. Alright, well, I'll swap to the pincer blades to see what they're about, but I really like the sigh. Alright, what is this new body? Uh, custom body. Oh, it's it's his uh, angry jack body. But it just looks cooler. Sure, let's... You know what? Yeah, sure, why not? I should probably save that before, uh... You know. Anyway. Alright, energy is great. I love energy. Absorption, yes. We go. These things are getting more and more expensive, though. I'm probably gonna I'm not gonna be able to buy them all anymore. I think after this mission. Hmm. Hmm. I'll try them. I'll try them next time. But uh, I definitely like the sigh a lot. Okay, hold on. I shouldn't spend more money until I do other things. So we can get more... Life. Fuel cells. I think the fuel... Uh, I don't know enough. Never mind. And skills. Turbulence. This is for the thing. It only costs 8,000. Sure. Uh, that would take out the rest of my stuff. Uh, I, I bought the fuel cells, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I can't... Can I update my sword? Or I already did. I already did, right? Yeah. Alright. Cool. So, you know what? Yeah, why not? We might as well get it. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing. The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back the monolith. <laughs> Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Uh, I don't like the doctor being in danger. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming. Um. Uh. Nice. EMP? Yes, but not strong enough to take out the drone. Where's... can Wolf do something about this? I'll handle this. 
How? How? Have a nice flight. <laughs> and people say Germans aren't funny. Oh, they're great. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, jump. Yeah. I love it. Oh. Bring the chopper around. Oh yeah. He's surfing on a thing. So This is some Zen shit right here. Morpheus, eat your heart out. That was so fucking cool. <laughs> God damn it, Raiden. Okay, I'm coming back. This is easier said than done, you know. Raiden. Jump through the helicopter blades. Action here. It's amazing. Close shave. Ooh. Oh. Oh boy. That's not good. How? How are you going to save him? Oh no. No! Doctor! Okay, the doctor's safe. I am sorry, my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. Yeah, no Glad shit. Glad to see that you are all right. It's time you got out of Denver. You don't say. <laughs> right. Oh, that's great. Alright. I'm gonna save. And that's gonna be it for Metal Gear Rising oh, tonight. Uh, you wanna fill me in on your plans for later? But My plans for later? Oh, man. <laughs> Are you making fantastic. dinner reservations? Uh, well, there is this new sushi joint I've been meaning to check out. Courtney, I'm married. Oh, right. I guess you're gonna be kinda busy over in Pakistan, aren't you? You certainly seem in a good mood, at least. Uh, can't be a proper action hero without a <laughs> joke or two. Yeah, well, I wouldn't quit your day job. <laughs> We've all got our coping mechanisms, I guess. Ask any soldier. A little levity can work wonders when you're facing death. Doesn't really matter if it's funny or not. If it helps you and your buddies relax, then it helps. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Forget about it. Okay, I got a joke for you then. Oh boy. Three tomatoes are walking down the street and they go. <laughs> I've heard this one, Courtney. And thanks for the thought, but I'll be fine. <sighs> All right. Was well, hold on. Anyway. So you're headed for Solar Was space? that joke used in Metal Gear Solid 2? Solar Space and Aeronautics. It's a private space outfit. Ever since NASA opened up space flight to commercial companies, it's become a pretty crowded market. And that's where Sunny works? You got it. Sunny? Fortunately, it's not too far from here. They got their start doing Air Force Space Command work for the Peterson Air Force Base nearby. Oh Two wait, it was in Pulp ago, Fiction. They built their own spaceport and but moved wasn't to their current location. Too? Glad to hear they're close. Boris is getting in contact now. You just focus on getting out of Denver. Copy that. Okay. Uh, I forget how to... How do I get out of this? There. That's how I get out of it. Oh man. Good, good game. This, this is, I fucking love Raiden. He's so ridiculous, it's fantastic. Oh, gosh, Raiden. You wonderful lad. Alright, so, give me a moment here. 
to swap games and all that business. Uh, I want to put on some BRB music while I fix things and uh, get Tales of Berseria ready. But after, after the break, I'll be back with more of that. So give me give me a hot second because I actually don't know what BRB music I want to play today. It's it's one of those things that's kind of hard to decide. Alright, so how about, oh, you know what, actually, no, I know what I want. I'll do a, a classic. <laughs> 